So, welcome to tutorial 4. Here I would like to solve some problems based on Levy solutions. First of all, I would like to define a geometry. Let us say a rectangular plate whose length is A along x axis, width is B along y axis and y 0 as and y is equal to b r at simply supported. What is the necessary condition for a levy plate that two opposite as is must be simply supported like these two opposite as is. Sometimes in some books you may find that x 0 and x a are simply supported and the next that x 0 and x a can have any support conditions. What do you mean by can any, any support condition? It means it may be clamped, free or simply supported. x 0 may be clamped, x is equal to a may be free and so on. So, very first step to analyze this problem is that suitable governing equation fourth order in x c second order in x and w n and this is your q n. I am first giving you equation for a orthotropic plate. So, if somebody asks you that what will be the deflection of a clamped free plate levy type when x is clamped and f is free and it is made of some orthotropic material. So, you first come to this equation, substitute the value of d 1 to d 2 to and if say that their loading is u d l or sign loading then accordingly find out this value n bar and n bar 4. So, basically this w is expressed like w n which is a function of x and sin n pi by b because along y axis it is simply supported. And what is q n? q n is nothing but 2 by b q x y sin n pi by b and d y. Now, reduces to if suppose I am here going to explain you for a orthotropic plate. Similarly, one can go for a orthotropic plate. So, for a isotropic plate, this d becomes d only. So, d may common out going there. Now, this equation we are going to solve. So, very first case is that you say that let us say we are making some assumptions where n is 1 and a square plate A is 1, B is 1 and it is made of steel mu and these things is given. So, n bar becomes only n pi where n is 1, so it becomes 1. So, this constant becomes 2 pi square and this constant becomes pi 4 square and q by d. So, this equation reduces to like this. Then again you if you want to put that put the value of d. Now, this is a differential equation fourth order. So, it will have a two solution homogeneous solutions and particular solution for the homogeneous case this part will be equal to 0. And the homogeneous solution is assumed like this c is any arbitrary constant e raise to power of lambda x lambda is unknown or the roots of the equation I would like to say that. So, you substitute is there in that equation homogeneous equation. So, it becomes a fourth order root lambda 4 2 pi square lambda square plus 5 4. So, this is equal to 0 this cannot be. So, 1 has to be g. So, from here you substitute sometimes if you have a this kind of equation you can directly if you have a program or something you can evaluate that a fourth order equation that 4 root or you convert lambda square is equal to r and it becomes to a quadratic equation. So, I have even knows that roots of a quadratic equation is minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c upon me 2 a where a is the coefficient of r square, b is the coefficient of r, c is the coefficient of constant term just c is the constant. So, in this way one can evaluate. So, I am writing that r 1 comma 2 is nothing but 
minus of b plus minus b square minus 4 ac. So, you see that for isotropic plate this term becomes 0. You take any m and n combination you say n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and 4 and so on always this will be in same order. So, it is becoming gamma 1 and 2 pi square. So, you have now roots lambda 1, lambda 2 is plus minus pi, lambda 3 and lambda 4 is plus minus pi. So, now you have a 4 root, 2 roots are same pi and 2 roots are minus pi. So, already these things I have discussed in the course during the course that if my roots are real and same, then the solution WMN would be look like this. We can write a solution like this that W and homogeneous can be two that if roots are equal because we are writing for a just for four roots. If you have a multiple then this shape will be slightly more different. So, A n plus B n of x cos h lambda x plus C n plus D n x sin hyperbolic lambda x. So, this is the form of my homogeneous solution. Okay, where lambda is pi again and a n b n c n d n are the unknowns constant. Why we are saying a n b n? Basically, if you say that my n is 1, then it will be a 1 b 1 c 1 d 1. If you say n is 2, a 2 b 2 c 2, for case of a plate uniformly distributed loading, then you at least required more number of constant. If you say that plate is sign loading, then first term is sufficient enough. Then the next step evaluation of a particular solution. So, we are assuming that WNP in this form WMN sin m pi x pi a and similarly QN can be represented like this. And finally, I would like to say that particular solution will be QMN upon DMN for a case of isotropic plate like this, n bar and m bar square and so on. So, this QMN will depend upon the type of load if it is UDL or sign loading and so on. So, QMN can be evaluated like this. Already I have told you that QN is 0 to B. So, ultimately it can be represented like this. Now, you write a final solution WNH plus WNP and some m is equal to 1 sorry n is equal to 1 to infinity sin and pi y by b. So, w naught is finally written in this form. This was homogeneous and particular solution sin m pi x by a and sin n pi by b. So, here a n b n c n d n are the constants which we need to evaluate and further this also see here is a function of sin. If we assume a UDL then it will be a constant if it is a function of uh, hydrostatic load or some other kind of variation then it will will be a function like this. So, now I am going to a special case that first what type of boundary conditions. So, this is your the main form of deflection where a n b n c n d n are the unknowns which you have to evaluate. So, there these are depend upon the boundary conditions. If I say that my plate x is equal to 0, x is equal to a both are clamped. So, you will get some a n b n d n. If I say that clamped and free different kind of that some different clamped and similarly supported free and free. So, any kind of boundary conditions one may assume and can solve for that even the similarly supported one. So, now I am talking to a very special case where m is 1, n is 1, a is 1, b is 1 and load is constant. So, in that case let us say q is q hat, 
not sin, cos, nothing and the solution can be represented like this. So, again Q m n is written as W m n of p. So, let us say x is equal to clamped and x a is equal to also clamped that both of the edges x 0 as well as x is equal to a are clamped. So, you put x is equal to 0 for that case deflection must vanish. So, you put x is equal to 0 in that form. Then from there you come to know that a n plus q hat equal to a n minus q hat. So, your first constant will be the negative of your load vector. Then slope w comma x at x is equal to 0. So, if you put here x is equal to 0, 0 it becomes 1 it becomes 1, it becomes 0, it becomes 0. So, from this equation B n plus C n into lambda tells you that the coefficient of B n equal to minus lambda times of coefficient of C n. Okay. Then x is equal to a, put a, x is a and we know that a is 1. So, I have just simplified this expression that a n plus b n cos hyperbolic lambda c n plus d n sin hyperbolic lambda q hat is equal to 0 and substitute this a n is equal to minus q hat and b n is equal to minus lambda c n. If you substitute these values, so it becomes c n into some constants or some high sin n d n something and some loading term. So, I am saying say let us say this coefficients are known as capital omega 1 and these coefficients are known as capital omega 2. Yeah, this is the load term and this loading is denoted as q hat 1 again. So, you get this equation C and D and 1 equation. Then at x is equal to a omega sorry w comma x again 0 slope. So, put that a value in the slope equation and from there substitute the value of a n b n wherever is b n. So, it reduces to a equation like this where we say this is omega 3 and this is omega 4 and this is q 2 hat. So, now you have two equations and two unknowns one can solve class 10 problem that basically if you substitute the value of lambda hyperbolic of lambda can be evaluated. So, this becomes a numbers basically these are the numbers. So, d n can be evaluated if I multiply with this and q 1 hat minus q 2 upon me omega 2 omega 3 minus omega 4 omega 1 similarly C n can be evaluated. Now, we have evaluated all the constants for a particular boundary condition that x is equal to clamp and x a is equal to clamp. Suppose if I ask x is equal to 0 is clamped, but x is equal to a is free or simply supported free. So, for this case here moment and v x x needs to be specified. So, their boundary conditions. So, there will be some different kind of variation may come, but the procedure remains same. So, finally, deflection can be written like this a n b n and for particular if you say that central deflection that x is equal to a by 2 one can evaluate cos hyperbolic, sin hyperbolic. Okay. One generally students makes a mistake that when they evaluate using the calculator. So, these things are in, in meter or something. So, basically you have to say that radian that 
in calculator radian function should be on. If you evaluate it in terms of a degree, then you will get a wrong number. So, wrong deflection. So, all these things are in radian. So, accordingly one has to evaluate. So, first I have given this thing to my one of my Amtech student and they said okay everything evaluated by just assuming that degree degree and that deflection and moment all things were coming wrong. So, then I realized okay you must remember this thing whenever we do things in the plate. So, cos hyperbolic or sin x and pi all things if uh, things has to be evaluated in terms of a radian. So, now if somebody is interested in terms of a moment of this plate it will be minus d 1 1 of w comma x x minus d 1 2 of w comma y y. So, w comma y y se aapke paas ho jayega only pi square b d 1 2 and the same term similarly you take double derivative of this substitute those values and evaluate that similarly evaluate m y y and so on. So, now by going through this tutorial 4 you have learned that how to solve a Levy plate, how to solve the different constants. So, one may write a program a very simple program in MATLAB that lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 all are given evaluate a b n evaluate q n for a different material may be isotropic uh, may be for a steel and then you change a material to aluminum and if you are interest very much interested go for a orthotropic one, one may try for that. So, with this our tutorial 4 ends here.